This is the second part in this video series on how to make your own mumble audio mixer using in this video Reaper first and then voice meter. We're using Reaper as the master so it's connecting directly to my laptop sound card. We're using WAS API exclusive mode. I'll go over that in just a second. We've set voice meter aux input. as the default sound card. And voice meter itself is functioning as a hardware, external hardware sound card um, making it available to Reaper. Same thing with, with, with its two virtual audio cables. One unique thing about this voice meter feature we're going to try to focus on in this video is this A1 ASIO input. Reaper comes with its auxiliary ASIO driver, its own ASIO driver called Reroute ASIO. When you first install Reaper, you have to make sure that you add that to the selection list of your install, what parts of Reaper you want to install. So it'll bring up a screen and then click the plus sign on additional software, scroll down, and you'll see Reroute ASIO. Make sure you put a check mark in there if you want to try this setup. So basically we have the USB microphone, we have the line in jack as before in, in the video just before this, and it's sending via Reroute ASIO directly to the Reaper input. So we have USB microphone here on reroute 1 and 2. We have the U line in Behringer on reroute 3 and 4. On these two virtual audio cables, which we're still using for mumble, and we're still only using voice meter veil for mumble output, just like the previous video. Anyway, so we're using these two cables and they're going to go directly to Reaper through the reroute ASIO drivers 5 and 6 and 7 and 8. In the menu of voice meter at system settings and options this is how we set that up. This is considered right here. So we're using input 2 and input 2 right, left and right, so we can bring in the microphone. Then over on 3, we have left and right, so we kept all these stereos. So we have the USB, the Behringer line-in, first the Aveo virtual audio cable, and then the AUX virtual audio cable. Now this represents, this position represents the first channel, the first two channels in reroute. There's a direct correlation between the numbers and voice meter now and Reaper since voice meter is using the reroute ASIO as its A1 driver right down there. In order to get this to show up, you have to also install the 32-bit version of Reaper and its reroute ASIO driver. So you can still use the 64-bit Reaper like I'm doing here, but you have to go back and install the 32-bit Reaper, Reaper so that that reroute ASIO driver is a, is a, gets a voice meter here to recognize it as an option. Then all is good. You can use 32-bit or 64-bit Reaper then with voice meter with the reroute ASIO driver. We have it in composite mode which is important. That's how we're able to separate these channels. With, again, hardware input 2 is reroute 1 and 2. Hardware input 3 is reroute 3 and 4. Voice meter veil is reroute 5 and 6. The voice meter aux is reroute 7 and 8. That's all a according to how you 
position these patch composites. So in this first possibly stereo channel, I've got go to hardware input to left and hardware input to right. So just duplicate that. Now I'm not using, and I'm only using uh, this patch here, this patch insert on the first one, first channel. And I'll go over that in a second. That's how we get the output of all this mixer audio going to the input of mumble to remain at the same volume and possibly apply some EQ. But that keeps the volume a lot more stable. It gives you the freedom to adjust the volumes according to what you're hearing and how you like it and not worry so much is mumble getting enough volume if I turn this down over here. So again, well, to review, we're using hardware input 2 and 3 is two external hardware sound cards to bring in to Reaper so that we can mix the audio and determine what we want to go to the mumble input. And how we do that is through this routing. So we leave the master checked this time, but we add an additional hardware output, reroute 1, reroute 2. What that does is go back to voice meter right here, ASIO input 1 and 2. And because I have B2 highlighted, it's going to go out the voice meter aux, which is what mumble is listening to right there. Again, just to review, voice meter veo is what we use for the output of mumble. That comes in here, goes out by a reroute, channel 5 and 6, over right to this track, the VM VO track. If I wanted to, click FX and we can put let's say an EQ in it. Search around through those, there's a lot to choose from and you can adjust accordingly for the mumble output. Right now I have uh, it's a desktop audio. I'm going to mute the, the line in. Okay, and then we do all our mixing and Reaper here with these mixer controls at the bottom that are, you can I double click here on the title bar and you can put whatever you want in there. So if I had desktop audio you can get it done yeah but i'm not multi it's going out to the mumble input as you see over here a little tiresome and then i'll move on to something <laughs> this is it right here planning his uh, special uh, plan to knock and here's the line on the v meter aux again i have voice meter aux as the default windows audio player so any general audio i click that defaults to the sound card we are honored and so that's this top audio. Here's a browser audio. In, he was sick. And they said, doesn't it bother you? And, and he looked at them. So that's said, going there. It's not that the demons are subject to your name, but that your names are written in heaven. Uh, it's the place where in Luke chapter 10, there's a volume uh, control Jesus for it. 70 disciples out and they come back after a, a, a day. Here again, anything, any track coming into Reaper that I want to go to the mumble input, all I have to do is click the routing button and add a new hardware, reroute 1 and 2. Reroute 1 and 2. Now, that output not only goes to my sound card so I can hear it, but it goes to the reroute ASIO driver channel 1 and 2 which is where voice meter is listening right here because we don't select any other hard hardware or virtual hardware sound card for that first input we leave this just to control the volume to the mumble input 
that goes to the B2 voice meter aux. Now, because we have in voice meter, we have selected that patch insert, it automatically diverts it to an ASIO host that's using the virtual insert ASIO driver, which I've chosen another Reaper to be that. So in here, and we, you may lose my voice here, but here's the uh, settings in Reaper. Okay, and we have some multiband limiter. Again, this is all audio that goes to mumble. It has to go through this chain first. I've also added an external free VST called Loudmax, which is an automatic gain control. I have it set to maximum output at minus 14. And as you see over here, it's about minus 14. And if the volume is any lower, it, it goes down another 10 dB, which will bring it back up to four, minus 14 again. So, uh, so you have a lot of fluctuation in the amount of volume sometimes in desktop audio apps or even just you watching YouTube videos. Some volumes will be full blast and others will be very quiet. And this is an application I found Loudmax here that allows you to bring those low volumes back up to the designated output and it limits it to minus 14 or thereabouts. And we have a little spectrum analyzer here. So that's why we find that this voice meter technology allowing to shoot back the ASIO through a reroute channel so that it goes to the voice meter B2 virtual audio cable right there. So Reaper can send audio to voice meter this way and of course the voice meter is sending its audio through reroute to the inputs of Reaper in these tracks here. Let's go to my microphone here. As before in the other video, I've got a couple of apps going. I've got an equalizer. This time it's before the noise gate. I'll take this off in a second. I have a de-esser to get rid of some of the harsh sibilance. And again with this button on Reaper, we take it off and that's my voice without the plugins and now the plugins are back. So that's the basic setup. When you want to use Reaper as the main core audio app to connect to your sound card. I'm going to show you the Wasapi mode here, the WAS API. You might lose my voice. And as you saw, I have Reaper in exclusive mode connecting my microphone and my sound card in, into this uh, Reaper's output audio with as much or possible low latency as possible. And 160 was as low as I can go. And it's really performing well. The latency is really good. It was like 12 milliseconds to go through from the mic to the sound card. So that's a that's a very low latency, very very nice. So we have as many tracks as you want on Reaper. It already comes with a lot of plugins. You might already find very useful. We're sending it back to Voice Meter those that we we want. Now we don't want to send Voice Meter Veo to this input as the input one and two because that would mean that the output of mumble would go back to the input of mumble. We're trying to avoid that at all costs. So in this reroute 5 and 6, which corresponds to the reroute matching numbers here on voice meter VAO's virtual audio cables designation, we do not have in the routing any additional audio hardware outputs. Masters checked and that's fine.
That's so we can hear it. But that way the mumble output won't go back to the input on mumble. So down in 7 and 8 again. We have reroute 1 and 2 because we want that to go to mumble. I have a tone set up on the mic input. So that's working because it's going back to reroute 1 and 2. That first channel over here on the voice meter going to be 2 output which is voice meter aux. And the microphone here, same, reroute 1 and 2. Behringer, same, reroute 1 and 2, 5 and 6. Hopefully we don't, and we don't, because we don't want that. And this is desktop audio, so any audio I play on my desktop that goes to the voice meter aux virtual cable, come in here. I can apply the, any plugins to what I want, and I can also send its output to the, to reroute one and two. Again, goes right to voice meter here, and when it comes in this channel, it come it goes out to B two. I don't have anything else selected, but for this to work, you have to have this channel here, this first channel, an A one output in composite mode. And it's just an alternative setup and especially if you uh, want to keep Reaper, Reaper as your core audio application and then have other apps assisting Reaper to do its job for higher function. So on this left Reaper this is all the audio and how it gets processed to the mumble input. And you can Apply all kinds of plugins here before it goes to the mumble input. And on the right see here is the is just the the master as they would call it probably the application that connects to your sound card directly in exclusive mode W A S A P I. And I found Reaper to be really one of the best when you're using exclusive mode. It can be quite buggy with a lot of apps and it may still be kind of buggy in general but so far it's been working really well in Reaper. Those guys have done a good job working with getting this a lot more stable than like a year ago when I was trying it. This, uh, this has half the latency when you use it to connect to your sound card than a voice meter did. And voice meter is still really good and but this is 12 milliseconds and voice meter was around 24, 25 milliseconds. So if super low latency is uh, really important to you, you can try using Reaper this way as the core audio app and then use voice meter as the assistant. Thanks again for watching.